for each letter sprite we have already changed their costume for each backdrop when it changes to b2 b3 b4 and b5 now we have to do the coding for these circles when the backdrop switches to b1 what is the next one next backdrop uh, which letter it is going to check which letter are incorrect for it once this appears the next button should be there which on which when i click the backdrop will switch and also the costume of the letter will switch according to the backdrop so i will create the next letter sprite over here add the sprite button to and I'm going to place it here, go to the costume, I will take this sprite only. Now I'll type next in this one. Now coding for this button is, when this button is clicked, it will broadcast the message next. When this sprite is clicked, broadcast next. And it won't be shown uh, when the flag is clicked. So when the flag is clicked, fix the position and also hide it. And it will be shown only when it will receive the that the first answer's last letter is correct. So when I receive A1 C4, show me. Show. Let's check that. Now this broadcast message of next button will be received by this backdrop. This will backdrop will switch and these letters sprite. So these letters sprite will also change the costume. Let's do it for the backdrop first when i receive next switch to next backdrop okay i think it will be done because let's check that because when the backdrop will switch they will automatically change now next okay now they have been changed but again when the backdrop switches they have to come again in uh, at a random position travel and again they have to come over here okay so let's do the coding for that this for the first letter when I receive next it is going to do the same. This will be applied you can see right. So I am going to copy paste this in all rest of three. Let's change the position over here. The position is not same. So let's play that again. And one more thing, when the backdrop switches, these should also be disappear. Okay, this is for the first circle. When I receive B2, again this will go to this position. It will hide for four seconds and it will show. I will add this block as well. Stop other scripts in sprite because then it will create some issues. Then again, uh, lion A3, A3 is L. So if it is searching. L, the first circle is searching L, B1 is going to be 1 and and uh, if it is touching any other block, it is going to broadcast the message wrong. One more thing that when it receives next, all the variables V1 to B4, they again will should, should be set to 0. So this is how you can do it. Then this coding has to be done for rest of the three circles. So let me do it and then again I will resume the video. So this is for circle 1, this is for circle 2, B2 again you will go to the position, I'll stop the other script and for B2 it's um, lion, I have changed it. So I have made the changes accordingly in the second, third and fourth circle. So let's play that. So this is how I'll complete the rest of the questions. Let me complete that and then I will resume the video and show you the coding changes now this is the backdrop 3 and the third question so i'm going to duplicate this make changes backdrop which is 2 3 and uh, the correct letter is calf c a l f so c is a3 uh, this is absolutely correct i do not have to make changes luckily let's go to circle 2 duplicate make changes now c a a is a2 so again you have to make changes here a2 now it's going to be a a3 so which one is this i have to make change here it's a now c a l l is a 
so make change over here a then it's going to be a3 a4 and a2 last circle so in b3 c a l f f is a4 so that's correct now now i'm doing it for backdrop 4 and the last letter crab b is a3 and then you have to change the message answer 3 character 4 and I'm okay now it's a3 then a1 a2 and a4 it should be a4 then i'll do for a backdrop 5 and then i'll show you the coding again so i've done the coding for all the letters let's play it You can see this check mark is appearing. Why it is appearing? Because we have not done the coding for receiving the message. Just like over here, when I received the first answer letter confirmed, uh, first answer last letter is confirmed. Similarly for the second one, then I have to do for the third and fourth one as well. So let's do that. I had duplicated this and then just make the changes. Last one is A4C4. Dress will same. Only the first one is going to change. So, so let's play it again. Now after this, if I click on next, my score should be displayed. So I will create a variable score and I will display it over here. How to do that? I have created a sprite score. This should be hidden when I click on the flag. Then I have created a variable score over here, which I am hiding and it should be set to 0. When the flag is clicked, hide the variable score. Also, when the backdrop will switch to B6, because uh, we have the question up to B5. So when it will switch to B6, it will wait for one second and then it will be shown. And uh, I have created the costume so that it blinks. And when the backdrop will switch to B6, we are going to show the variable value as well. So these are the costumes that I have created. What you can do simply uh, choose this one, choose this rectangle, create, for example, just duplicate this, select this and just change the color. Change the intensity like this so that it creates the next costume. That's it. And you are repeating the costume so that it blinks. So when I click on next, it will blink and the score is also visible. Now how to set the score when you are going to increment the score that is also be there and click on the next button because it is correct everything is correct only then you go to the next question so whenever it is correct you will increment the value by one so whenever i receive next change score by one let's play it once again last is stored when I click on next, the score is visible and it is also here. Now when I am in my last backdrop, these circles are hidden, these letters are also hidden. So whenever I will go back, go to backdrop 6, hide. So that is applied to each and every letter sprite and circle. You can see it's for the circle. Similarly for this top button and check mark. Whenever I receive B6, hide and this for this as well. You are going to hide it. Let me show you the coding once again. That's the letter coding. It is almost same for every letter. This is for the circles. You are hiding it. Then when you are switching to the backdrop, you are checking the letter. In B2, you have to put this one. Similarly for B3, B4, B5. Similarly for circle 2, 3. But for circle 4, you are receiving the message, you are broadcasting the message. You are hiding it, you are in the when the flag is clicked, then B1 is same. B2 over here you are broadcasting the message when in for the last letter. When the last letter is arranged correctly, you are broadcasting for the first answer similarly, for the second answer, third answer, fourth, and so on. And this for the wrong coding, you are setting the variable to zero. Whenever you click on next again, they are set to be zero, hiding and showing it. This is the coding for your check mark. You're checking the answers over here, whether the order is correct or not. This is for two, second, third, fourth, and fifth. This is the coding for the next button. Then this is for the score. Uh, 
all right and the backdrop is here and this sound you can add over here put it after this one otherwise uh, if you put it over here the whole sound will play and then only the switch drop uh, backdrop command will be executed and in case you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section because uh, I'm not able to explain each and everything I'm sure you must be having some doubts so you can ask me in the comment section there and uh, I will be providing the link for this particular sound in the description box as well and if you like the video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends um, subscribe to my channel and tune into my channel for the coming videos be awesome and thank you so much